U.S. Election 2024 Despite Donald Trump's threats, NATO remains neutral. Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg of NATO dismissed President Trump's criticisms of NATO's work in an interview that aired on CNN News Central on Monday. Stoltenberg responded to a question about if he is worried about the future of NATO in light of Trump's threats by saying that the president has not specifically targeted NATO but rather countries who, in his view, are not investing enough in defense. Stoltenberg stated that while the criticism has not primarily targeted NATO, it has targeted NATO partners for not allocating sufficient funds to the alliance. He also mentioned that there have been significant changes. Sweden joined today and they are paying more over 2% on defense, Stoltenberg said, adding that more and more NATO countries are spending as much on defense. By spending a lot more on defense, NATO partners are now making a substantial impact. As new information becomes available, we will update this article. According to the Democratic opponent of Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis, a lot of conflicts of interest are likely to arise in the Georgia case involving former President Donald Trump. In Friday's papers, Christian Wise Smith, a Democrat with experience as a Fulton County prosecutor and Atlanta City solicitor, filed to challenge Willis in the state's May 21 primary. Another candidate vying to unseat Willis is mega attorney Courtney Kramer. The defense was anticipated to encounter conflicts of interest, according to Wise Smith's September appraisal of Willis's massive RICO case against Trump and his associates. There is a possibility of overlap in legal counsel due to the small size of Atlanta's legal community and the fact that there are 19 co defendants in the case. According to MSNBC commentator Wise Smith, Willis's witness list is likely to contain some surprises, but they will be very, very crucial for having key pieces of evidence filed. According to Wise Smith, who pointed out that co defendant Kenneth Casebro had hired the same attorney who had previously defended Brad Raffensperger, the Georgia Secretary of State, we're going to see a lot of conflicts of interest. A major obstacle in the election interference case is Willis's friendship with Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade, even though Wise Smith hadn't brought up the prospect of a prosecution conflict of interest. Several of the defendants in the case have moved to disqualify Willis's office from prosecution following the January court filing that exposed their sexual relationship. Willis and Wade maintain that their relationship does not pose a conflict of interest. Nonetheless, the defense contends that the mere hint of impropriety warrants their dismissal from the case. Judge Scott McAfee mentioned several instances where the mere appearance of a conflict of interest has been enough to disqualify a prosecutor at the evidentiary hearing. Not only do the allegations of wrongdoing cast a shadow over Willis's political career, but they have also cast doubt on the strength of the four criminal indictments against Trump. Last Monday, the district attorney filed for re-election with a hopeful tone, but she has drawn challengers in Kramer and Wise Smith. People have a right to run for office, but they should come prepared for a fight, Willis told reporters before either of her opponents had qualified for the contest, refusing to seek the death penalty, eliminating cash bail, and decriminalizing drug possession were all parts of Wise Smith's platform when she ran against Willis in 2020.